Okay, so as we, as we take a look at this example here, consider the following two reactions. We're gonna treat this as sort of, uh, uh, you know, I guess this is equation number six, this would be equation number seven. We're gonna focus on just number six here for this example. Now, this is a, uh, this is a reaction, it appears to be a redox reaction, okay? Because we have an ion of copper turning to solid of copper, okay? So copper is gaining or losing electrons. What's happening to it? Okay, so yeah, Cu2 plus, okay, is gaining electrons, so it's being reduced, okay? Uh, barium is going from solid to 2 plus, so it is what? Losing electrons oxidized, okay? Okay. All right, so we have an idea of, of what's happening here. So what we need to do to find the... Um, the cell potential, the elect electric cell potential here, is to find is to find the um, look at the chart, and we look at the reduction, and we look at the oxidation. Okay, which being oxidized, which one's being reduced. So let's go back. Well, actually, let's first go back and look at this. Uh, where is it? Right here. Okay, the standard cell potential. So it's the um, the standard, standard reduction potential from the chart that we're going to look at from the cathode minus the number or the voltage from the anode. So it's cathode minus anode, what's being reduced minus what's being oxidized. And that's a little bit easier to see when you look at the chart. So I like looking at the chart to know which one I subtract. So the one that's further down the list, the one that's closer to the bottom here, this is the one you start with, and then you subtract the one that's further up the list near the beginning. So it's this one minus this one, okay? You're going this way, all right? That's just the way I think of it. So whichever one is further down the list as we go from top to bottom, top to bottom, that's the one you, you start with. Uh, where were we, okay? So it looks like the reduction one is copper, okay? So let's see if we can find copper on that chart. Okay, you found it? Okay, here's copper, okay? And here's the number for copper. And what about barium? Now, barium is, uh, was a bit of an addition here. It's not on this chart, so I did give it to you that it's negative 2.92 volts, right? So what we do is we take, and negative 2.92 fits right in here. So barium is in here, okay? Barium 2 plus. Which one? That's where barium is right there. Negative 2.92, okay? So I'll just put that here, negative 2.92. So we take this number and we subtract this number, okay? So the electric uh, potential for the cell is this 0. Point, what was it, 3419? Is that what it was here now? 0. 0.3419 minus negative 2.92. So minus negative 2.92. And when we do that, we get an electronic cell potential of what? What is this again here? This is 3.26, was it? 3.26, okay, um, 3.26 volts, all right? Okay, so that's the electric cell potential. So again, find out which one is being reduced and oxidized, or look at these two things, as long as it's a redox, whichever one is further down the list, you take the, elect, uh, the reduction potential of this one and you minus the, the reduction potential of this one. Now, yesterday when we did this at the end of the lesson, um, the, the one confusing thing was that these were each written with their ions first. So in the chart, you'll see this. Cu2 plus plus two electrons produces Cu and that has uh, 0.3419 voltage, right? And then you'll also see that barium two plus plus two electrons gives barium solid or whatever and that's a negative uh, negative 2.92. So yes, the, f the fact is, is that this is reversed in this reaction, but as I mentioned yesterday, you don't mess around with the signs here, okay? Don't mess around, because we're subtracting always, so the signs will take care of themselves, all right? So you do this number minus this number, okay, always. So you, you understand that in the reaction, this is actually reversed, right? We're going from solid to the ion, but in calculating the potential, because we're subtracting the numbers, you just use the numbers from the table. Very, very important. Okay? Uh, any questions there? Finding electric cell potential? Okay. So I will encourage you to do um, seven on your own, and um, I'll, uh, I'll divulge the answer to that uh, 
uh, a little bit later for the cell potential for seven. Um, if you want to take a moment right now, uh, go ahead and see if you can see if you can do that one. Okay, the only question you have, and no one's asked this yet, but the only question that you might have is, do the coefficients mean anything? Do I have to multiply the voltages by the coefficients? We didn't have to do that in six, but here the coefficients here are definitely other than uh, other than one, right? So do we have to do anything with the coefficients? Well, what you have to remember is that this is just a kind of a, a balanced recipe. Um, it's not really changing what's happening. Because you're multiplying this by two does not mean you're doubling anything. So no, you do not worry about the balanced, um, the, balance, the coefficients here. You just use the cell potentials from, uh, from the chart, okay? So what you should have noticed was that tin, so here's tin, SN, is down here, and aluminum on your chart is up here, right? So again, we always take the one that is highest in number minus the one that's lowest in number, or the one that's further down the list minus the one that's further up the list closer to the beginning. Uh, here's the beginning, right? And here's the end down here. So the numbers increase. So you're going to do negative 0.1375 minus negative 1.662. Okay, for that cell potential. Now, because these are very close in number, you're not going to have a very large cell potential, are you? Okay, so your voltage would be about 1.5245 volts for the system. Uh, sig figs, yeah, are sig figs important? Well, if you're wondering how many decimal places to go to, uh, the reason why we went to two decimal places here was because we're subtracting or adding only. So you take the fewest number of decimal places as your final answer, not the significant digits. Only if you're multiplying or dividing, technically. So here we have four decimal places. Here we have three. So let's make this three. So it's 1.525 volts. So that's your electric cell potential for seven. Okay? And here are your textbook questions, too, to uh, further solidify what we did in this last lesson. Okay, any questions?